Patrick Mukabe's mark on the Kenyan art scene is unrivaled. He has helped train and mentor a whole generation of young Kenyan artists who have gone on to become successful in the industry. Mukabe's work resonates strongly with Kenyans and can be found in the premier coffee house Java and also the newly constructed Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. My conversation with Mukabe is about motivation and what it takes to be creative. My name is Patrick Mukabe. Uh, I'm an artist based here at the Godown Art Centre. I've been here for around seven, eight years. I've been painting for around 16, 17 years. Um, I paint um, oils, acrylics, and I also like to paint uh, the human figure. That's, that's my basic. The human figure is what I fall in love with. I, um, I also do a lot of teaching. Um, my youngest student is around three years old. My oldest is about 80. Um, and also I work in schools with the curriculum or sometimes as extra classes with the teachers. Um, basically what I do, I go around, do sketches, see people, look at people, um, both indoors, outdoors, and then come and create compositions. But basically I also try and concentrate mostly on the positive side of life. Um, I usually say if you go anywhere, even if, no matter how poor they are, still people are happy. They sing along and they make uh, fun along. So when you wake up in the morning, uh, Panye, and you come to the go down, I know you're one of the hardest uh, working artists I've come across. Actually, I know uh, what motivates you to come here every single morning. Yeah, I think um, I think it's the love of painting. Thinking um, the next painting I'm going to do is going to be the best painting I ever done. Um, I was told when I was young that the earlier the better. Always. If you wake up late, you never, never become rich. But um, every day there is a painting to be done. You learn something new, new colors, new forms, new shapes. You teaching all these uh, youngsters, that's, that's definitely your Yeah, when, your I, when I started out, I, had a, you know, I didn't know where to go. And I would meet one or two people. There's a guy called Elijah Ogira, who introduced me now to uh, the, the artwork. Because we were in the same college, and I used to see him walking around with things. He told me come around and see. And without him also I would have been lost completely. So naturally when you see people coming in from school, they are bewildered. Uh, they don't know where to start, where to buy materials, where to show work. Just where to show work. It's, you feel like you need to help them. Because there are many out there who don't have an idea exactly how, how do you survive with art. And they give parents again, don't think that art is uh, a viable in career and they always look down on artists. Also artists themselves, some of them, the lifestyle discourages many people, forgetting that uh, you become a role model whether you like it or not. Uh, like I am every Saturday morning on TV and when I meet kids in town they call my name, Kosuku and Kosuku. So again, I'm a role model without knowing it. So again, if I live my life in, uh, you know, like, irresponsibly. What would the kids think? What would their parents think, also? So again, we, it's up to us again to be role models. Uh -huh. yeah. So what uh, last word do you have? I think just be creative. Um, we, we are all the same. All the artists in the world have met are the same. You should just think in a creative way. Have that extra, extra, like, vision to be above everybody else. Does creativity take hard work or yeah, how? It takes hard work. Um, yeah, for me, I don't have a boss. I just push myself. I work even when I'm sick. I try and do something every day. Sketch, draw, look, notice things around. Creativity is hard work. It's, it's not easy. Um, years go by and you don't know. If, you, if you, somebody's pushing you, it means you don't have a passion. If you push yourself, you don't care. Yeah, I've spent... A lot of um, days without anything, but I still work. Sleeping in, I sleep in town sometimes, no, no money to go home. Uh, landlord is close to the door. What do you do? No rent. 
But you just keep on pushing, pushing, pushing. Uh, if you give up, uh, there's no, there's no giving up. It's easy to give up. Living is the hardest thing. But just push. Uh, for me, I push everybody. So just push. I try and hang around people who inspire me. Um, go to places that inspire me. Uh, if, I, if, if I'm around people who push me, I, I feel encouraged. There's some people I talk to, and immediately I get inspired. You, you see yourself in them, you see them again looking up to you, and you just get inspired, we inspire each other. That's, that's the most important thing. Well, Panya, it's always an honor to, to talk to you. Okay, and so. your creativity and wisdom is unparalleled. So. No wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Asante sana. Thanks, Emma. Cheers.